New at 5.30 tonight. What do you think about having a glass of wine while you're at the zoo? How about a beer? It is looking more and more likely there could be booze at the zoo. News Channel 5's Alex Sands explains. A city's oasis, a sign of a changing times. Yeah, you don't think about it, uh, you know, having a beer here, you know. It's usually somewhere else, you know. Paul Davis grew up not too far from here. I'd have a beer if they sold one. You know, if they had it here, I'd buy one. <laughs> 32 years after it opened, the Palm Beach Zoo is still one of the few zoos in the state that doesn't have a license to sell beer or wine. The edge of its property is about a football field and a half from the nearest homes. It's too close. So it's asking the city to change the rules. From their perspective, they at least they they believe that it's to their advantage to be able to serve alcohol at the functions that they have there. So it gives them a, a, the ability to put on a, a different caliber of either fundraiser or activities there. Having a license will let the zoo sell beer and wine during special events. It'll also let it sell beer and wine during the week and on weekends. It's a really exciting experience. And if it's a Friday evening and you happen to have a glass of wine in your hand, you know, it's even more fun. Yeah, well, my cousin had a, a party here a while back, so probably would have, you know, I would have had a beer then too. Paul Davis is the kind of person the zoo has in mind. If they sold a beer, I'd have one, you know. Changing rules for a changing times. Monday is a key day. This is when the city may change the ordinance. Indications are it will. The zoo should be able to apply for a license soon after that.